Yeah, Wyatt, how do you feel? You've just been pre-selected. Oh, it's interesting. It's a very humbling experience, and that's something uh, that very few people actually go through. But to have the, the local grassroots member, uh, members of the party, to say, you know, this is the guy we want to stand up for the local people, that's a hugely humbling experience. And now today, I've just had the entire LNP party say, go do it. So, uh, excited, very excited. I want to get out into the electorate. I want to go do my job. Um, but also humbled at the same time. How do you think um, people will react, people uh, in your local area, how will they react just to the fact that you're 19? I, I think people are quite happy to keep an open mind. Um, and and what, what matters is you know, me doing my job and what I actually bring to the job. And I bring a strong conviction, I bring a strong ideal, uh, I bring a very completely fresh and clean approach to federal politics. And I think people are looking for that out in the electorate. Uh, importantly, I have an ability to actually listen then to take the views of the locals out uh, to my party room, to Canberra, to the community, to the media. That's my job. That's what I should be doing and I think that's what people uh, will judge me on. You know, the Australian thing is fair go and have an open mind. Do you think a 19 year old can do the job? Oh, absolutely. I wouldn't be here if I, I didn't. And you know, it's interesting that not only do I think I can do the job, the local grassroots mem members of the LNP here in Longman think I can do the job. And today the LNP think I can do the job. So I, I certainly think, um, you know, my Labor opponent has neglected this area a whole lot. Uh, he hasn't been the voice that they deserve and if I can be the voice that they deserve then why not? Do you think your age should even be an issue? I mean people go into war at yeah, yeah. I think it's a legitimate you know factor out there that people are going to think hey he's 19 but once people get to know me once people see that I'm doing my job I'm out there standing up for the locals listening to them and doing effectively what my Labor opponent hasn't done um, then people will judge me on what I do. What are the key issues in this electorate? Well, it's interesting. Longman is a very diverse electorate. You have Woodford, which is fundamentally uh, different to uh, Bribe Island. So there are very local issues in each area. Uh, there's two sort of a general approaches that I'm going to be taking. One is the sense of community in this area, uh, in each area. There's a very strong sense of community, and I, I'll be out there fostering that, making sure that that grows and stays uh, consistent, because uh, this area is a growth area. There's a lot of growth here. So that's my first tack. The, the other big issue that's consistent across the entire electorate, even though it is diverse, is Labor Party neglect. I mean, they haven't been standing up for, for the area here. My Labor opponent was a state MP before he was a federal MP. Uh, he's directly responsible for state Labor failures in this area, whether it's the road, whether it's the hospital, uh, whether it's just catering for growth. And what we've seen across the entire electorate is uh, we haven't seen sustainable planning for that growth. We haven't seen sustainable development. So I think that's the consistent issue across the entire electorate. What about unemployment? Well, unemployment's an issue in every electorate. Again, this goes back to we need to make opportunities for people in this area. It is a growing area, and if we had sustainable development, sustainable planning, there would be those opportunities. And that's certainly something I'll be out there listening to small business, listening to people uh, that might be unemployed and standing up for them and finding out what we need to do in this area. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Um, this is your first TV interview. A lot of people will be seeing your face for the first time. Mm. Tell us a, a bit about yourself. Where, whereabouts are you from? And um, obviously, you finished high school. Are you um, doing any other sort of jobs or have done the right well, thing? Everything's being stopped now to campaign full time. Mm. As it, you know, I think it deserves that. I think the local people deserve someone that can be there for them all the time. Uh, before this, I was in my final year studying politics, international relations, economics, and public policy. Okay. That's now been deferred. Uh, I worked in the family business, which is a strawberry farm, small business. I've got great small business uh, background and being a farmer, it keeps you connected to the roots. Uh, and I also work for the state member uh, in this area, but obviously there's a conflict of interest there and now that I'm the candidate. I've stopped working there and I'll be campaigning full time. Okay, can you Absolutely. I wouldn't be here if I couldn't. And uh, I think, you know, let, let's put myself and my Labor opponent up together and let's, let's have a talk about the issues and what actually matters to the locals in this area. How much noise? Uh, I think the margin's 1.7%. Um, most other 19-year-old guys might be sort of doing a lot of partying and, yeah. uh, you know, doing a lot of things. What are, what are your friends, um, uh, you know, what do they sort of think, that your friends the same age? Oh, I, I think they're excited about it, as most people uh, are. I think this is an exciting part of politics. I mean, people, you know, everybody wants younger people to stand up and take their rightful place out there. And uh, this is part of that, so they're excited for me. Um, yeah. Do you still do... All the other things that normal 19 year olds sort of like to do? Not as much, definitely not. No, I mean, I'm very busy with this, and this is, uh, you know, that's just politics, that's the job. It doesn't matter who you are and what age you are, you sign up for this, this is part of the job. Would you concede you're not your average 19 year old? I'll leave other people to make that judgment. I mean, I've just, I just, you know, have a chat to me about the issues, ask me the questions, and other people can make that judgment. Have you been briefed by 
your party colleagues about what you can and can't talk about? No, not really. I mean, I mean, you know, this is normal party processes. I certainly have a very strong local campaign team, um, and they certainly, you know, say this is the issue that we're finding out in the electorate or not. And I, I have my own input. So, I mean, you can ask me any question you want right now. What's your view on abortion? Well, I mean, this is a personal issue, and it will always go to a conscious vote. And each uh, time it goes to a vote, there's different um, variations in the in the legislation. So I would sit back and assess each legislation as it came through on its merit. I'd also go out to the electorate and actually find out what my views and my constituents are and then stand up for them out there. What are your hobbies? I love being on the water. I mean, in, in, our, in Longman we have the beautiful Pumperstone Passage and I grew up on the Pumperstone Passage. My family have generations of connections to this area. Um, so I love water skiing, I love sailing, I love getting out there and, yeah, on the water, fishing. So the next um, few, few months, more than a few months, that's that's going to sort of entail you putting um, you know a few a few things on hold then, and mm. you'll be obviously oh, as it deserves. I mean, the local people deserve me to devote myself to them, and I will be doing that. I'll be out there, you know, on the streets, standing up for the locals. What um what would you say your uh, you know if there was it was there was one thing that people could take away from having your introduction here today? What what is it that you would most like them to know about you? Oh, that I'm going to be there for them. That I'm going to be out there listening for them. I'm going to be that strong voice that they haven't had from my Labor opponent. I mean, the, the contrast that I really think is important to make, uh, you know, my approach to politics is not about mudslinging, it's about making a contrast. Labor have neglected them in this area, they haven't stood up for them. You know, my Labor opponent was a state MP, he was directly responsible for the failures of state Labor in this area, then he became a federal MP and did very little for them since. I'm not going to be that candidate, I'm going to be out in the electorate, listening to their concerns, and then advocating for them, and giving them the voice they deserve in the party room, in the community, the media and in Canberra. What do your parents think about it? Oh, you know, every parent's you know are probably chuffed whenever their kids go out and you know go out and achieve anything. So they're they're very supportive. They're not a bit worried that you're going into a pretty big game that can get pretty dirty. No, because they uh, they know that I have a thick skin, and you know this is the farmer in me where you can take tough knocks, and you know you have to have a thick skin and, and stand up. And it's interesting. My approach to politics is a clean approach. It's about making a contrast. It's about forget mud slinging. There's a big difference between mud slinging and making a contrast. Uh, and they understand that that's what I'm taking to the to the role, uh, and I think they're very proud of the fact that I can do that. How do you think your first television interview went? I don't know. You t how do you think it went? I'll leave others to judge on those sorts of things. Thank you. Great. Thanks for that. Any interaction with federal men, uh, like your federal oh, hierarchy? Oh, of course. Yeah. And every candidate does. Um, and I've had certainly people call me up and give me their support and advice. You know, this is one of the great things about the LNP is that we're a team. And we have these uh, senior ministers or people that have gone before. And my uh, candidacy is about mixing youth and experience as Tony, part of a wider team. Has Tony ever given you a call? Um, sort of, but we then got lost when he had to do other media stuff. So uh, I'm sure I will when I have met him before this. And uh, what sort of has he given you any advice? Or? No, he hasn't directly, but certainly other senior ministers have. And what did they say? Go for it. Uh, and I think something that uh, the senior ministers or, or the coalition are excited about is they understand for the parliament to work effectively, one, you need strong candidates, you need candidates that have a voice and an ability to listen, and they see that in me. The other thing that they understand is that for the parliament to work effectively, it has to be diverse, it has to be reflective of the wider Australian community. Um, so they're excited to, to get me up to Canberra. That's the response that I've got. And the people that you talk to in the street, what do they say? I find people are quite excited, particularly in the local area, in the local electorate, because like I said, they had a Labor candidate that's ignored them, that's neglected them, that hasn't stood up for them. I'm going to be doing what he hasn't done. I'm going to be giving them what they deserve. And when people see that, um, I get a, you know, at least an open mind at the very least. Do you have any time for a uh, celebration tonight? Or you got plans for a celebration oh, dinner?